So, if you've hung in here till now, <laughs> you'll probably notice there's been a few cuts because the warfare that's been against this video is already, um, it's already quite noticeable. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go one step farther and we're going to begin to pray for you. And in this time, this is where we are coming into agreement with your personal, uh, the personal things that you would like handled, that you would, that you would like to be delivered from. And this is, if it's something that you've hung in here until now, this is where, this is where you get the benefit of those, of those rewards. So, do you want to lead him? You go ahead. Okay. <laughs> He's really good at it. <laughs> Father God, we just come into agreement right now within your courts. And we ask for the person that's watching this right now, be this today, be this tomorrow, 10 years from now, decades from now. Father God, we say that the words of what you're speaking right now in this moment, that this will go through the airwaves, that this will begin to invade that atmosphere, that you will begin to call down, Father, portals of heaven, Father, within the place of where they're sitting, that they will feel the shaking and the moving right now. God, that this will be something that's a tangible moed, a meeting place with you in your courts. Father God, we just say right now in the abundance of this atmosphere, Father, that you are a good God, that you are someone to be praised, that you are someone holy and worthy and respected. Father God, we give you the praise in this moment. And right now, I bring before you, Father, this child of God. I bring before you, Father, the areas of their life, Father, where they have sought answers with, no, with, with questions that they don't even know how to ask. Father, that they've, that they've encountered traumas, that they've encountered areas in their life, Father, that were just from living in a fallen world. Father God, we ask right now that you will begin to take their heart, Father, that you will begin to see and inspect it, Father, that you will look and see upon their intentions and see that at the end of the day, they want to serve you. Father God, that above all else, that's what they want. They want to be able to bring your name high. And Father God, the areas of their life right now, and this is where you come into agreement and you say, the areas of my life are the fear, the doubt, anxiety, depression, all of the above, whatever that is for you. But this is the area, Father, where we repent of that. We confess it to you, Father, as being unof you. And we ask right now, God, that you'll begin to manifest in this situation, in that place, in that recliner, in this poolside, wherever this may be watched. And we ask right now, Father, for an abundance, an abundance, Father, to be coming into their air, in, in, into their, uh, into their surroundings. Father God, right now, we just break any legal rights that those curses, that those agreements and covenants have had over their lives. And we say right now that we are going to bring them to no effect. Father God, we cancel them under the name of Yeshua, under the blood and the price that was paid. We say that that price was sufficient. This is something that there is not a blood, uh, there is not a drop of blood that is needed more, and there was not a drop that was needed less. One drop would have been enough, Father, but you gave it all. And Father God, we put you into remembrance that you are a good God, that you have good things for us. And Father God, we say right now that we come into your courts, we come boldly, Father, and we come with honest hearts. We come with the best intentions. And Father God, we seek to bring your name high. God, right now, we ask right now that your ministering angels will begin to minister, Father, begin to anoint and begin to minister, Father, to every single person that's watching this video right now. Father God, this will be something that's a tangible experience, something that is felt and something that is heard. Uh, Father, something that is felt deep within their bones. We say that those bones must shout glory, hallelujah, Father, to God Almighty. We say right now, God, in this time frame, we say that this is something we ask for this appointment within your courts. We ask, Father God, within the mercy court that your books be opened for them on their behalf, that you will begin to show them, Father, the words and the prophecies that you would have for them. God, we ask right now that as, they, as every single one of these records be opened, that they be examined for any inaccuracies, any additions or edits, Father, that we have added from either agreements and covenants, word curses, or anything that's been spoken over us, either either by us or by other people. Father, it doesn't matter. We say that anything that was un of you, we bring it out, and we ask that it be removed and revoked. Father God, right now we renounce of any agreements that we have come into, into contact with, Father. Any time that we have cursed our situation, cursed our finances, cursed our marriages, cursed our businesses, cursed our ministries, cursed ourselves. And we ask right now, Father God, we repent for those. We are guilty. But God, we ask right now that they be covered under the blood of Yeshua that flows from that mercy seat. We ask right now that as we, uh, we ask right now for the show cause for the accuser to say that any time that those accusations were used against us, 
in the courts of heaven, in the courts of our daily lives. Father, we say that those accusations are no longer valid, that the price has been paid, the consequence of grace has been offered to us. And Father God, we say right now that those words and accusations from the enemy are null and void right now. Therefore, any blessings that have been tied up from our agreement to those previous word curses, that they be released right now in Yeshua's name. Father God, we bless we bless every single person coming and watching this video, Father, on podcast day or night. The time in the season is that your season is time, that your times are the ones that we fall to. God, that this is something that this may be a complete inconvenience for someone that desperately needs this. And Father, we thank, we thank you for the opportunity to share it. But God, right now, we ask right now that the person that's broken and hurting, person that's needing to hear this right now, we ask right now, Father God, that you will speak to them through us. Father God, that you will say that those chains are broken, that those, that those opportunities that you thought were gone are coming back around. Father, that they are something that is way better than anything that you thought was ever going to be possible because of the life you lived, because of the sins that you've done, because of the choices you've made. God would say, I've chosen you for this time. I have a remnant set aside and I am setting you up for success. Now, this is a part where we say we come into agreement, Father, with those blessings that you would have for us. We come into agreement with every single opportunity that you would have for us, Father. And we ask your warring angels to protect those blessings, that they will be released immediately, abundantly, that the chains of depression, anxiety, fear, doubt, and unbelief, Father, any areas of a double mind in the spirit, we cut that off right now in Yeshua's name. And we speak a single-mindedness, a fat neck, an anointed, anointed calling, Father, in a purpose-driven life that is unrevocable, that is unchangeable. And Father, we claim that in abundance right now. In the name of Yeshua, we seal this with the blood. And we ask, Father God, that you will begin to manifest in, the, in your children's lives in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. That was powerful. I got to get to baby. <laughs> so you're going to make a cameo? Once this video is finished, this video is a testimony of what to do when the enemy tries to stop you in the midst of doing what God wants you to do. Right. Every single time, this is probably, there has been at least four times that we've had to stop it. The video stopped, which has never happened. Never. Um, the, you know, we're having baby fall asleep as soon as we start praying. Here we go. She wants to ready song. to go, ready to go. She's a song so, this is a part whenever the enemy stops you, do it again, do it better, do more. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't fall short. Don't just repeat what you did. Do better. Do more. Yeah. And we're hoping right now that this has blessed you. That yeah. this has been a a little bit of a different taste of what the courts what the courts look like in practice. Yeah. And share this with people because I know that that prayer for everybody else was super powerful. I felt I I really really felt that on a deep level. And so if this is if this was really beneficial to you and you really felt that and you know people that could use that, share it. Yeah. Because it can really be the thing that changes somebody's entire life. It really could. Well, we just want to say we bless you. Yeah. We thank you so much for tuning in. We thank you so much for being patient with us. Yeah. Uh, thank you for helping us kick the enemy's butt. Many <laughs> times we have an opportunity to. Yeah. And we just wish you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wonderful night, and that we'll see you again real soon. Okay, we'll see ya.